The Reverse Club Member Postings program can be used to reverse specific member charges and create new postings based on the reversed postings. To do the reverse, first navigate to Club Management, Processing, Reverse Club Member Postings. Select a posting location. This will determine what audit number apply to the program. The drop-down setting will only list the posting programs that your user account has menu access to because if you don't have menu access to post, you should not have access to reverse. After selecting the posting location, you'll be able to choose an audit number from a selected posting location. The program consists of three tabs, parameters, reverse posting, and new posting. First, you will need to configure whether you'd like to reverse posting only or reverse posting and create a new posting within the parameters tab. The reverse posting checkbox is always checked and grayed out as you must reverse the audit when using this program. The date of record shows the original audit's date of record. Select the hide reversal from statement checkbox to hide the original charge and reversal posting charge. The default previous GL description will be shown on the field but you can edit the text if you'd like to give it a new description. Note that this field cannot be blank. The GL reference use audit number checkbox is also auto checked. However, if you'd like to use the GL reference, uncheck this box to activate and make the GL reference field required. You can also enter a sticky note. The sticky note will be added to the members transaction for all members on both the reversal and newly created audits. If you'd only like to do reverse posting, you can select next to move on to the next tab. However, if you'd like to also create a new posting, Select the Create New Posting box to activate the New Posting section. You are required to enter the new date of record and the new GL description for the new posting audit prior to continuing the process. The GL Reference Use Audit Number checkbox will also be auto-checked, and the GL Reference field will only be activated if the GL Reference Use Audit Number is unchecked. Optionally, use the sticky note to add a sticky note to the member charge. Once everything is set up, select the next button to continue. It will take us to the reverse posting tab. Note that you will not be able to navigate through the tabs by selecting the tab names. Notice there are back and next buttons on the bottom right of the window. Use the back button to go back to the parameters tab if you'd like to make any changes to it. The next button will only be visible if you decided to create a new audit in the parameters tab. The text at the top shows the details from the Parameters tab's reverse posting section and the grid will load all the members that can be reversed from the original audit. The reverse column will be auto-checked for all members. However, the program will only reverse the members that are selected. If you'd like to exclude any members, uncheck the reverse column. If needed, the right-click feature to select or select all is available for that column. Below the grid, you can see the total count of members that are checked to be reversed and the total amount that is being reversed. These columns will be updated as members are checked or unchecked. If you're only doing the reverse posting, you can select Preview and Post. If you're creating a new posting, select the Next button to bring you to the New Posting tab. The text at the top of the tab shows the details from a Parameters tab's New Posting section. This grid will make active the transactions that are flagged in a reversal posting to be reversed. You can then check or uncheck the update box for any member, meaning that you can reverse 10 members and only create a new posting for 5 of those 10 members. The total columns are also updated as members are checked in the grid. If you'd like to go back to the reverse posting or the parameters tab, select the back button. Otherwise, you can select the preview and post to do the reverse and create a new audit. In the report, you will be able to see the original audit number that was reversed and a new audit number that was created. You can also view the new charge on the member's account inquiry if you made a new audit for them. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.